aba oh news aba there is news and there is gist in fact hot news i say hot news just sit back and relax and enjoy this hot gist hello gist partners news aba oh news aba there is news and there is gist. In fact, eh, <laughs> today's news, there is no time to waste time. <laughs> but before we even jump right into the news, if you are not following my other channel, hmm, as I always say, <laughs> you are missing out on all the fun. Hey, hurry up right now and follow Sandy's Joyful Space so that you can catch up on all the fun and interesting things going on there thank you very much <laughs> also please do watch to the end of the video so that you can see the video clips of president nana akufuado hey hey the beautiful and wonderful speech mm -mm. you don't want to miss that speech you don't want to miss it anyway let's just jump right into the news as it day hot three helicopters for police in november Ten thousand cctv cameras installed says president akufuado mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. let's continue hey hey this is the news i want to hear these are the news i want to hear anyway let's just continue president nana ado says the police service will take delivery of two gazelle light attack helicopters and one airbus 350 helicopter in november this year to enhance its work according to president akufuado angers for the helicopters located at the national police training school have been completed and six officers who will fly these helicopters have completed their training in South Africa. The president made this known on Friday when he delivered a speech at the graduation ceremony of the 50th Cadet Officers Course at the Polish Training Academy at Tesano, Accra. Not to worry, this speech has been attached to this video. You can watch the full speech at the end of this video. So guys, let's continue as a day. Hot. Speaking at the event, the president noted that government in recognition of the difficulties and dangers confronting police personnel in the discharge of their duties remains committed to resourcing the service by the provision of adequate personnel and logistics to enable them to deliver on their mandates. To this end, since I came to office in January 2017, a total of 568 vehicles, including 15 operational buses, have been presented by government to the service a feat unprecedented in its history he said apart from the existing form police unit in accra president akufuado revealed that an additional 22 light armored vehicles have been procured for use by the fpus to be established in november in the northern upper east and ashanti regions in the next one and a half years FPUs will be established in the remaining regions that do not have FPUs. 200 motorbikes have also been distributed to members of the community policing initiative to boost the presence of the police in our communities. Modern communication equipment and 4,500 fragmentation jackets have been procured and delivered to the service to protect officers and help ensure effective policing, President Akufuado said. He continued, at the beginning of my mandate in 2017, there were 800 CCTV installations in the country for surveillance. At the end of my first term, the figure had gone up to 6,500, and by the end of the year, another 3,500 would have been added, making a total of almost 11,000 in the country. Government, the president added, has strengthened the cyber crime fighting capabilities of the service through the setting up of a computer emergency response team center at the National Communications Authority. Towards protecting the country's maritime waters and its offshore oil and gas installations, the president revealed that the Ministry of the Interior has procured three alligator silver boats in fulfillment of the pledge he made to expand and resource the marine police in order to help them work with the Ghana Navy. So guys, that is the news. Oh, hmm. It's very long. I just have to stop here. <laughs> what do you guys think? Hey, hey. As you can see, the president will be giving the police service three helicopters by November and also 10,000 CCTV cameras 
will be installed. Hey, hey. Anyway, I will just allow you watch the speech of President Ana Akufuado. You just hear everything out for yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and see you all in my next video. Bye. Happy to be here for the graduation ceremony of the 50th Cadet Officers Course into the Senior Officer Course of the Police Service. I say a big aiko to the 129 officer cadets who are graduating today, and I commend them also for the spectacular drills they have put up. Ladies and gentlemen, the most important things of a nation are the peace and safety of its people and its territorial integrity. Article 200, Clause 3 of the Constitution of the Republic states, and I quote, the police service shall be equipped and maintained to perform its traditional role of maintaining law and order, unquote. The ultimate goal of this provision is to ensure explicitly that the ordinary citizen feels safe and can go about his or her everyday life free from the fear of crime and insecurity. The police service is further mandated by the Police Service Act of 1970, Act 350, to prevent and detect crime apprehend offenders, and maintain the safety of persons and property. The effective execution of this mandate is premised on building a professional police service that is accountable, responsive, transparent, and trustworthy, and which accommodates the concerns of the general public that it serves. We want to go back to the good old days of policing, where people felt that all the efforts of the police were geared towards making their lives more comfortable. It is gratifying to note that the 2020 Global Peace Index report, compiled and released by the Institute of Economics and Peace, ranked Ghana as the second most peaceful country in sub-Saharan Africa, <laughs> after Mauritius. Such a positive global outlook identifies our country as a peaceful destination for sound investments, and all of us, including the police and the citizenry, should be encouraged by such an assessment. In spite of this, we all know that we have quite some way to go towards becoming number one on the rankings. Currently, the traditional challenges to security, such as chieftaincy conflicts, land disputes, religious intolerance, ethnic animosities, and political rivalry are being compounded 
by contemporary threats like drug and human trafficking, proliferation of small arms and light weapons, armed robberies, cyber crimes, and activities of nomadic husband. Today, the challenges to Ghana's security are numerous, complex, and sometimes quite unpredictable. I'm aware the recent incidents of violent crimes in some parts of the country have generated safety and security concerns from several sections of the population. I want to assure Ghanaians that the police service and indeed all the other security services are determined to deal decisively with the threats posed by dangerous criminals and criminal syndicates. We can help them succeed in this endeavor if we urge the police and the other security services on and give them as much support and cooperation in the fight as we can. Government, in recognition of the difficulties and dangers confronting police personnel in the discharge of their duties, remains committed to resourcing the service by the provision of adequate personnel and logistics to enable them to deliver on their mandate. To this end, since I came into office in January 2017, a total of 568 vehicles, including 15 operational buses, have been presented by government to the service, a feat unprecedented in its history. <clears throat> Apart from the existing formed police unit, FPU, in Accra, an additional 22 light armored vehicles have been procured for use by the FPUs to be established in November in the Northern, Upper East, and Ashanti regions. In the next one and a half years, FPUs will be established in the remaining regions that do not have FPUs. 200 motorbikes have also been distributed to members of the Community Policing Initiative to boost the presence of the police in our communities. Modern communication equipment and 4,500 fragmentation jackets have been procured and delivered to the service to protect officers and help ensure effective policing. The police service will take delivery of three helicopters made up of two gazelle light attack helicopters and one Airbus 350 helicopter in November this year to enhance its work. <clears throat> Hangars for them, located at the National Police Training School, have been completed, and six officers who will fly these helicopters have completed their training in South Africa. At the beginning of my mandate in 2017, there were 800 CCTV installations in the country for surveillance. At the end of my first term, that figure had gone up to 6,500. And by the end of the year, another 3,500 would have been added, making a total of almost 11,000 in the country. <clears throat> Government, has strengthened the cybercrime fighting capabilities of the service through the setting up of a computer emergency response team center at the National Communications Authority. The Ministry of the Interior has procured three alligator silver boats to help fortify security along the country's maritime waters. This has been done in, in fulfillment of the pledge I made to expand and resource the Marine Police in order to help them work with the Ghana Navy to protect inter alia our offshore oil and gas installations. The Criminal Investigations Department, CID, has been equipped with a digital forensic laboratory, and for the first time in the history of the department, 
Crime officers are given a monthly allowance to support their investigations. We've retooled the CID Forensic Science Lab. The CID building has also now become disability friendly and there is continuous training of CID officers. On addressing the housing needs of the service, the construction of 320 housing units of the National Police Training School is at an advanced stage of completion. Work is ongoing on the construction of a barracks at Kwabinya to replace the one adjacent to the DVLA at 37, which is not fit for purpose. A new mechanical workshop for the service is also being constructed at Boshe near Hacho. In addition to the yearly increments of salaries for all police personnel, government has placed them, like the other members of the security services, under the CAP 30 pension scheme. 